all right you are welcome again how are you doing and how is the tutorial so far please there is always room for improvement you can suggest to us what you think we can improve on all right okay now let's see what we have for today we are going to treat what we call inverse of function or inverse of a function this is under calculus inverse of a function and then let me say this in mathematical problems people have different ways of approach that is you can devise your own way of approaching a problem likewise in real life people does not use the same way to tackle same problem so likewise in mathematics i have my own way of approaching a problem and you may also have your own ways but what it is but what is important is let your steps be standard and be clear you get it no manipulation let it be what be standard okay now let's go we are going to treat inverse of a function and then this question say let f of x be a function over the set of real numbers be defined by f of x equal to x all over 2 minus 3 and then find the inverse if it exists okay now I want you to get the point about inverse of a function there are three things I want you to learn okay number one is this when you are being given a function to find its inverse in form of f of x is equal to so 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 thing the first thing you are to do that is my own step is you replace f of x with y with y okay now number two solve for x in that expression that you are having so as you replace y by f of as in you replace f of x with y now at that point y is the subject okay now you make x the subject of the formula you understand okay now uh, that is secondly now after make succeeding in making x the subject anywhere that y appears in the solution that you have gotten now still replace it again with what with x and then that place that you make x the subject change it to what to inverse function that is exactly what you are asked to do now let me show you what i'm trying to say so that you understand i said number one okay now let's go we have f of x is equal to x all over 2 minus 3 okay now we say let y equal to f of x in place of f of x we will replace it with what with y and then this is how it will look like it will be y is equal to x all over 2 minus 3 okay now the next step is make x the subject of formula that is solve for x now in solving for x we have y is equal to x all over 2 minus 3 now this expression in the right hand side for you to solve this let's combine it together so in combining it together you know this is a fraction we are going to 
solve x all over 2 minus 3. So what we're going to do, we're going to find the LCM. So the LCM will give us 2. So that when we say 2 divided by 2, it will give us 1. 1 times x will have x minus 1 divided by 2. 1. I'm oh, sorry, 2 divided by 1 will give you 2. Okay, 2 divided by 1 to give you 2, all right? Then 2 times 3 to give you 6. So we will have x minus 6 all over 3. Sorry, all over 2, okay? x minus 6 all over 2. Now, you remember we have y is equal to x minus 6 all over 2, okay? Now, we cross multiply. So crossing multiply, now we will have x minus 6 equal to 2y okay x minus 6 equal to 2y we want to make x the subject so x will be alone here and then we'll take minus 6 to the other side then we'll have x is equal to 2y now when this negative 6 is going to the other side it will turn to what positive so therefore we have x is equal to 2y plus 6 now the last step is now replace y with x okay in the expression what we have just gotten where we see y we replace it with x okay now we will have and then also we'll replace x again with the inverse sign okay now we will have f of that is inverse function of x is equal to 2x plus 6. Inverse function of x is equal to 2x plus 6. Okay? This is it. Now, you can also try to check whether what you solved is correct. So, for you to check it, Try to solve it again to find the inverse of the value that you obtained. Do you get what I'm saying? So the values that you obtained, if you take the inverse of it again, it will take you to the original question. Now let me show you. We obtained a value and then the value is 2x plus 6. I will say this is the inverse of x all over 2 minus 3. Now let's try and see as if we are taking the inverse of this function that we just gotten. That is 2x plus 6. Now, you know, the first step will replace f of x, Abby. Now we we'll have y is equal to 2x plus 6. From here, we make x the subject. So making x the subject, we will have y. Now let's take 6 to the other side to have y minus 6 is equal to 2x now 2x is alone okay now we are looking for x that means we multiply both sides by 2 then we we'll have y minus 6 all over 2 equal to 2x all over 2 so 2 we cancel 2 then we we'll have x okay now we have x is equal to y minus 6 all over 2. Is it true? Now, here, let's separate them. You know, when we are solving, there was a place we say let's combine. Okay? Now, here, now, let's separate them. We have x is equal to y all over 2 minus 6 all over 2. So when you join this or when you combine these two terms, it will give you the above expression. Okay? So we're going to have x is equal to y all over 2. When you say 6 divided by 2, it will give you 3. So we have x is equal to y all over 2 minus 3. We have solved this. Okay? Now, we are going to replace y with what? x. And then x with what? Inverse sign. Okay? Now, in replacing, we will have x let's replace f first we have x is equal to x all over 2 minus 3 now replacing x now we have f of x is equal to x all over 2 minus 3 which is the original 
equation or the original function that was given to us to solve okay so this is how to solve inverse of a function all right please keep watching keep subscribing let's treat more examples so that you understand better okay thank you Thank you.